Welcome to the first video of this year, 2020. So I hope you had really nice um, Christmas and really lovely New Year's. I just pop up to actually show you the project that I've been working, I don't know, probably the last week. Um, I did that in one day. Um, probably like in three hours or so. So, what are these? Are just r paper ruffles that you've been seeing everywhere. I was inspired way back then when she made them uh, from the treasure books. So, I will put her link below. You can go check. And uh, I didn't do anything that time. Since then and now, I accumulated a lot of strips. And I was hoarding them in a box and what I did is I used anything and everything so you can do this with whatever you have even if you don't have scraps you can make some. Reuse anything. If you don't have scraps like beautiful scraps some people have um, really nice papers, um, cutouts and all that. I, I, I don't have those so... This was my first ruffle. So this is some scrapbook paper that I um, chopped up. Um, like I have small pads that were really cheap. Um, and I took a lot of them. Something like that. Um, and I like the design, some of them, but not all of them. So I took uh, one paper and chopped it up. Um, and I think this was... A strip that was left so um, this blue one um, is a pamphlet or however you would say just sewn on the regular uh, printed paper um, that I had left from chopping stuff so this is basically this I'm out of frame yeah okay and what I did is I took I took them and made small strips with my guillotine that is somewhere here. Show sure. like so. Okay, I'm out of frame. Yeah, I'm... today is out of frame day, and you can like bunch them together and do three or four um, pamphlets or whatever you have. And this is like a mat. A little bit thicker paper and I love the color so I just left it as it is you could paint it if you want to um, so yeah that's what I made that was my first ruffle which you know it's not that bad focus focus it's not that bad at all um, this was my start my rocky start um, and I think what I'm going to do with this one, since it's it's a little bit plain for me, um, I might just take I might just take uh, you know this and uh, just make nice edges, um, and I can just go on the top as well. This one is not really um, wet ink pad, so it's kind of good, and it gives you that grungy. Let me focus. Grunchy look. Um, so you can do that as well. Um, and you don't need to do any preparations before that if you don't feel to. I didn't, obviously. And I kind of like this better than, uh, you know, just plain. Yeah, you can see. Okay. So that is what I'm going to do with this long, long strip. And you can do any color. Black, blue green, pink, whatever you want to do to distress it a little bit and to make it a little bit more grungy. Um, let's, let's fold this back. So, like I said, you can use anything and everything that you have um, from really thin paper, like newspaper, because I use newspaper in this, like a load, load of times. You can use newspaper, painted newspaper, you can use your junk mail, you can use um, stuff like these. 
you can actually use the pages that are really glossy and have really nice colors if they don't have a nice color paint them over use acrylics and just paint them over or use your watercolors i think these are watercolors um and they stick to to this semi glossy paper just fine if not if you think your watercolors don't stick as good Give it a little bit of PVA, uh, mix it together and just, you know, plop it on. Um, you know, just do whatever, enjoy it and when you're gonna enjoy it, you know, doing the papers and then you're gonna enjoy cutting them and then you're gonna enjoy making ruffles. It's just a one huge package of enjoyment. So, if you don't have really nice scraps or scraps with a lot of colors, this is a way to do it. And you know what? You can use every single piece of scrap of paper. Like, let it be so small, like tiny little bit, or let it be like a huge one. You can cut it up, you can... It doesn't even need to, to have really straight edges at all. Um, so, let me just start with this one. Um, this is a book page, thin book page that I put some watercolors on. Um, this is some Happy Mail uh, page that I had some stuff. It was actually a strip like that and I just put it, you know, into uh, a smaller two bit sizes. So the first layer is this book page and then the second layer is that strip of uh, like pink, um, baby pink. And since it was a bit boring, I just included one strip of newspaper over it. Um, and that works fine. You could use like three strips or just one or a little bits and bobs in between of paper. This one is a painted page and, you know, it's painted and stamped and whatnot, and uh, newspaper over it. This section here is this, paper streamer, whatever you call it, it's for a party, whatnot. And I have loads, loads of it. Um, and I really think I'm gonna use for this project as well. I have like greens, blues, yellows, reds, so... I can include it uh, in in my ruffles. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with so many ruffles, but let's just go with it to use it up. So this section was a really small um, strip. I think it was something like this, and I just put it on. Um, you know, it doesn't even matter if it's you know the the middle is nice, um, straight, whatever. Um, so yeah, like here you can see it's I, I had a really bigger bottom strip, that white page, and that was cut off of something, I don't know. So I just included more um more of the pink um tops together. Um I have another thing that I wanted to show you. I think it's somewhere here. If not, I'm gonna go to another one. Um, plenty of, um, glossy pages here. Here I have a small strip of, um, jelly printed uh, page of, 
jelly printed page whatever it was I think it was an envelope or something um, I don't mind blues if the strip has a little bit of blue or green in it I just you know put it in um, these were some strips from my scrapbook paper that I made a while ago um, you can go check that too I'm gonna put a link down below and probably something up here so you can click so I had a little problem with my machine um, so I had to do stitching again um, but I don't mind actually it looks really good I'd say a little bit messy um, again that streamer thingy you know that thing um, here are just bits and bobs and these are like just um, slivers from the paper where it was torn this one is the strip on the bottom the brown one is paper bag strip I chopped up a few paper bag strips that I had and you can even use the packaging that you get from I don't know Amazon um, or some other company that sends you stuff and they put packaging in you can use that no problem at all you just need to make some strips um, or you can tear it basically you don't even need to cut it you know you can tear and have a really awesome um, awesome thingy that way so this one was made with um, I put this strip on the on, on half I rip it so because um, I think I had it I was on the last roll or something when I was sewing and I just you know tore it like so and then I um, sew the the one thing on it and the other thing and I try to do like I said before I try to do um, section of each or just overlap it so it's more interest this green bit here is just this thing that I painted over with watercolors or whatnot um, and I cut it up and that's it and you can make whatever this is some experimental thing not even experimental I was just playing <laughs> <laughs> you know and more green stuff so m mixing colors and making whatever color you need um, to make you know your ruffles it's fun it's really fun paper bags yes um, I would dare to say that you can even try to make ruffles with plastic such as plastic bags <laughs> I'm gonna say that um, just you know try it out I would definitely do that but I have so much paper right now <laughs> but I think in, in in the future I might try to do um, as a paper bag on the top and then if that's good then the paper bag on the bottom as well I'm not sure if I would need any support I don't think because um, the paper paper on the top would be just fine to give it a little bit sturdiness so you can try that um, here here you can see I added that paper bag in between so I have the white strip on the bottom the paper bag and then the green strip on the top and I think it gives it like that grungy look um, I really love it and this this one too um, some green paper green um, magazine paper um, from jelly plate I think um, here I have some strings I had to redo my I think I ran out of the bobbin or something I had a lot of strips before um, and one day I decided I'm gonna take those strips out and I'm gonna just paint them with watercolors so I had a whole heap of strips on my table and watercolors and my brush and just went over it and they curled and I didn't care much um, and I put uh, more colors on them so that's another way to do them I mean if you have many white strips yeah you can do that no problem at all um, but I'm gonna say that having a bigger piece of paper and coloring it is way quicker and you can you know you can stamp it you can do whatever you can put glitter on it you can I don't know you can put 
whatever, really. <laughs> I'm just trying to say that um, you are not limited at all to make these. So again, that stream thing, party thingy. Um, and I just used black thread because that's what I had inside of the machine. Here I have some um, newspaper strips. It's really thin and I just... I color my newspaper um, for having a uh, scrapbook paper. So I do a lot of things to it. I paint them with acrylics or uh, watercolors. This is a few of the pages I can show you quickly. Um, and you know, I just have fun at it. And some, like this one, it's not finished. I might do something on it. Um, so you can use and cut up the papers like so. This was one from the yesterday that I made. Um, you know, duels, whatever, just go to town. So um, if I would like to cut these, I think I would fold them many times so I can actually cut them with my scissors or with my... I really love this paper. I kind of, I'm kind of crazy with the dots, um, the packaging dots. Um, really crazy. Um, so yeah, you can actually fold a piece of paper many times if you have a newspaper or a bigger paper and then cut it. Here I have another paper bag. Um, I think it was a paper bag, but I'm not sure. Maybe it was a packaging or maybe it was a um, wrapping paper like a florist wrapping paper i am not sure but i might be out of frame let me let me see if you can see it's like a shiny on one side is shiny coated and on the other side is um like matte i would say it's the same material as that brown paper that we had before this one because one side uh one side is shiny and the other side isn't so but just different color i would say um i was hoarding it i don't know why i i didn't really like the color but i was just hoarding it um and it really makes a nice contrast with white let's move on so i had small strips like so and like so um i'm not even sure like i even put an inch long strip in it in this project so you know you can do whatever really you're not limited um here i have more newspaper and you could actually probably put some embellishments on it if you think it's too boring and you can edge the edges with some ink and what else you can put some fabric on it too i mean you know if i would have some pieces of fabric i would just put it on and sew it through of course you can do that why not or just torn pieces of pages i don't know it's so many possibilities i actually was hoarding this and was actually um putting some watercolors on the back side of this ugly paper that i didn't like before um even this side that was watercolored it kind of looks awesome you know kind of looks like vintagey style thing so yeah and then we have um dark background and something light on the top this was a misprint and i just put some paint on all over it i don't know when and some book pages and this is the start so a lot of grungy ruffle let me put this aside I think I wanted to show you something with the blue one. I think the blue one was my last one. This blue, not the, the first blue. So, book pages. I think this was a book page of two. Um, I glued two pages together and it's a little bit thicker since the book page was kind of, I don't know, um, old and very, not brittle, but very soft old and soft i don't even know how to say that um it's like a i don't know a uh, weird page i'd say um this is probably some i don't i don't even know which page is right now 
but the strip that um strip that you see here that it's um brown um it's basically from my book I took a book and i have some painted pages in here and what i did is i tore two three pages out right and then i folded it over so i would have a smaller size to cut and then I took my guillotine and just cut a bunch of strips and it would look like so and you know two pages were together or three pages were together and I just opened them and I have strips for you know this thingy I kind of like that um, the text is like so not vertical but it's horizontal uh, I like that better because you know that's me. Uh, maybe you like any other way. I don't know. But that is what I use. And I'll just go over and hopefully I'm not going to be out of frame. There are some like greenish looking pieces in here. But I don't mind because I'd say everything goes together. I had quite a few of notes that my mom was writing on. So I put watercolors on it and I just... um made some strips out of it. You can see that it's writing on it, but you can read it what it is, you know. Um, this is a, a bit of paper that I was making stripes of. Um, I will link the video where I do make and show how I make those. I just used watercolors again on it. I had two colors, like blue and pink. Really looks nice. This is some sliver of, um, of newspaper. I think I was making my own scrapbook paper again that time. And here I have, let me see, here I have the bottom is book page. And then on the, on the top is the blue one is book page that it was painted with watercolors. And then I put a newspaper that is like um, peach colored. Um, so for a little bit contrast, so it's not going to be all blue. Here I have, um, I really like this bit. This is a um, strip of the map of the, I don't know what, probably Germany, some part of Germany. And this bit is my favorite one. Uh, and here I even did, so it's overlapping because it, it was a thin sliver like, um, you know, not a correct shape of anything. <laughs> okay, and I'm going, and here is again my scrapbook paper, I think, that I made. I don't know, I think. Yeah, still, still. And her again, here is a um, scrap of my mother's uh, writing. This bit is cool, too my paper and um, i think this was from smashing smashing some colors together i might link that too if i don't forget so since i ran out of the back paper you know the strips oh i even did it here so I didn't have many strips left around me when I was sewing. I, I could go into here and make more, but I was just like, I had a lot of small strips. This part of the ruffle is a book page, and this part of the ruffle is just a simple old um, printer paper. What I did is, let me turn it around, I attached two pieces of small paper together and then over that put another piece of blue strip right and then I sewed it down um, and I was sewing and even here I didn't catch it um, but um, it's still it's all right if sometimes you have a feeling that it's something is not there or you know it's flimsy just take a glue and Put a dab of glue there um and then uh my my machine was acting some 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 sort of weird um here we have again i have two strips of paper uh just joined together uh, i didn't glue them together i just 
put them on the machine uh, and then sewed right in the middle. And I really, this part is really interesting as well, let's say. Um, you have that um, notebook paper and the really old um, book page, which looks neat. All the strips of paper um, that I had um, are gone now, are in this ruffle. And that is something that really makes me happy. I wanted just to use these papers as well. Uh, I bet everybody has them and they're, I don't know, out of theme. I've seen and probably I have a bunch of um, Halloween themed ones that are black and orange and all that. And I just think it's a good way to use them in this project. I might have some other um, ideas for using these and I did try some. But I will share that in another video. Paint your pages, paint whatever you have, and just make awesome ruffles. If you have any questions about this project, ask me down below in the comment section. Um, I do respond um, like all the time and uh, more ruffles. And just ask away. Don't be afraid, I don't bite. You can see how these ruffles are made on, on Treasure Books video. I'm gonna link it down below, like I said. You can make your own ruffles with scraps, with anything and everything that calls paper. I would really love to see how you make stuff. Um, so share your lovely projects with me on my Facebook group, Aim Outside the Box. I would love to see it. I get inspired um, so many times from the pictures that I see, from projects that others make. And I hope you can recycle as much as possible. So these ruffles are really um, loads of fun and you just can't stop making them. At least me. Uh, from now on, I will collect my strips and ends and bobs uh, into a separate baggies so I would have colored together and yes you can do mixed colors that's all up to you but uh, for me I rather do pinks and blues and greens together and yellows together so whenever I'm working on a project I I just can take stuff from that roll. I hope you like this video if you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you like the content that I'm providing. Thank you very much for watching. Happy crafting! Bye!